do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. Go by too bad. So we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today, man, we finna be reacting to some TikToks that will absolutely ruin your freaking childhood. I be watching SpongeBob, right? I used to watch SpongeBob as a kid as a lot. I've been watching it these days when I'm older and I actually know stuff, you know what I'm saying? I be watching it and some of the jokes they be making be pretty freaky. SpongeBob was getting, SpongeBob was getting Sandy's cheeks a lot. You know, so I never knew SpongeBob was, was clapping Sandy's cheeks. If you watch the shows back, they be hinting at some freaky stuff. Not no regular sexual stuff. Some freaky stuff. Some weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? And that for me just ruined SpongeBob. And I've seen a couple TikToks where it's like, this is what they really meant in the in, in this kids show. And now that you're older, you see what they mean. So today we finna be ruining everybody's childhood. You watching this video, I don't even know if y'all old enough to know these TV shows and stuff like that. But if you is, everybody's childhood is finna get ruined today. You finna see a lot of stuff that you did not think about when you was like 12 years old, drinking the apple juice out of the box. And living your best life. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna hot right into this. But before we get into the video, if you want to write to anything specific, hit me over there on Instagram at you underscore for reality video. I shout you out. I know how it goes. Just send me the link to the video if it's fire. I react to it. If it's doodle balls, I'm blocking you, deleting it, never talking to you again in your entire life. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta be honest. What's on my head though? You asking me that? I know you are. Jewelry.com, you know what I'm saying? You can buy two, get third, free, one, save seven, fifty dollars. We're having a huge Black Friday sale. Everything's gonna be fifty percent off. So don't buy any jewelry right now. Do not. I'm telling y'all, save y'all money. Don't buy any jewelry right now. On Friday, the whole store will be fifty percent off. So you can get a bundle for thirty dollars instead of sixty dollars. You can get a do rag for eleven dollars instead of twenty-two. You get fifty percent off of everything. So save your money. I want you to stack up all your bread and spend all your money on Friday because the Black Friday itself is going to go stupid. You're going to want to be there. Set a time on your phone. You're going to want to be there before everything sell out because it's going to sell out. But man, without further ado, make sure you subscribe with the post notifications. Also, we're dropping two bangs every freaking day. And let's, right, let's get into it. Hey, yeah. Ooh. I got some chips. I'm happy. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. In the movie Frozen, have you ever wondered why Sven is so attached to Kristoff? Or did you ever notice how Kristoff is wearing a reindeer pelt? Well, it turns out Kristoff is wearing the reindeer pelt from Sven's mother. Sven is so attached to Kristoff because the What the f- You telling me this man killed somebody's mother is now wearing his coat? And now spinning off is supposed to just be cool with the homie? Oh. Sven of him reminds him of his dead mother. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna ruin your whole childhood, part three. You got a Tesla like me. I always wonder why Miss Crab could have a well daughter. Your bros called Miss Crab daddy and always ask for money. And that means Mr. Crabs is actually I'm gonna a ruin daddy. You know, never mind. In your childhood, have you ever wondered how all the creatures in SpongeBob can talk? Well, it's because the bikini bottom is located right underneath the bikini atoll, which is where the US government conducted 23 nuclear tests during the Cold War. SpongeBob and his friends have been genetically mutated by the nuclear radiation, allowing them to evolve and talk like humans. I'm gonna. Bro, folk just be reaching. I got nothing to do with that. Shut up. You don't even know what atomic means, stupid. I'm gonna ruin your childhood memories. Part 12. Do you remember Ariel's mom, Queen Athena? Well, she died due to a run with pirates when Ariel was just a baby. What's crazy is you can see Athena here when Peter Pan comes to visit the mermaids. However, the mermaids are extremely afraid of Captain Hook. What if I told you that Captain Hook's ship is the one that caught and killed Queen Athena? I'm gonna ruin your childhood. Have you ever wondered why- I'm starting to hate this little guy. This little guy. He got the face like a two-year-old, but the voice of like a- Two year old. I don't know, he's weird. Mr. Krabs is the only crab in Bikini Bottom? Or why he named his famous burger the Krabby Patty? Well, it's because the secret ingredient for the Krabby Patty is actually crabs. Which means Mr. Krabs is a cannibal. I'm sorry, guys. So you're telling me Mr. Krab killed every single. Because I've never seen another crab in, in, in all of. Uh, actually, no, his mama is alive. Because SpongeBob was sniffing her panties, huh? See, that was another thing that's weird. Why was. Why was SpongeBob and, and Patrick sniffing the the, the, the the coochie juices of Mr. Krabs' mother? Why well, was they doing that? That's some freaky stuff. That's some weird stuff. That's some pedophile stuff. So I don't need to go to jail. I'm not gonna lie to you. But then he said he said Mr. Krabs killed all the other the other crabs and turned them into the crab meat, and then he be eating that crab meat. So he cannibal cannibalist. 
It, I wouldn't put it past Mr. Krabs. I'm not gonna lie to you. Here's why the cast of Spongebob broke up. Mr. Krabs became homeless and began committing crimes with his weapon. Mrs. Puff went vegan and began posting salad pics on Instagram. After a follow-up with Spongebob, Gary became an accomplished actor and continues to be an inspiration. I'm gonna ruin your childhood memories. Part 5. The original Cinderella story is much darker than the Disney story. To fit into Cinderella's lost slippers, her stepsisters cut off their toes in order to fool the prince. However, Cinderella's two guardian doves told the prince of their treachery, so he left to find the real Cinderella. Once the prince found Cinderella and they became married, the two stepsisters then tried to befriend Cinderella. After seeing this, the doves then pecked the eyes out of the stepsisters. What? This blinded them for Fuck life and then left up. Cinderella to live out the rest of her life without a cruel family. Folk is just making up stuff, pissing me off. Please don't let it be the boy boy right here, the, the, the little childish boy. Please don't let it be him again. I'm gonna ruin your oh child. Oh my god! Get off the screen! Good. Have you ever wondered why Squidward always gets mad at Spongebob? Well, it's because Squidward is Spongebob's legal guardian. Spongebob's parents hired Squidward to protect him from his ADHD, which is why Squidward lives right beside him and always watches over him. He puts up with Spongebob's nonsense, all while suffering from severe depression. Sorry, guys. That's it. The man is just saying random stuff. Their heads do not come up from the same location. Oh, man, they were getting clapping. Clap. Wait, wait, wait. She was giving the guac guac 3000. Wait a minute. She was giving the good stuff. Sorry, guys. Let me see this. Head is right, head, head right there. You do the math on that, that's right where his balls at. Okay, okay, you get a little freaky on whatever movie this is. I don't even know the movie. And she barely wearing any clothes. Oh yeah, and he geeked out. He geeked out. <laughs> You got a man. Bro. Here's the real story gotta, behind Mulan. Left, so we all remember Mulan as being courageous and brave, a great warrior that made her family proud mm -hmm. and fell in love along the way. But this isn't what actually happened in the original story. In the original, she makes it home to her village, where she finds out that her whole family has been brutally murdered. Her only option was to become a sex slave, but she refused to live like that. What? So she committed a ritual suicide called seppuku, which is what? where you stab yourself to death. What in the- why is he so dark? The other dude is a little boy and he weird and he just making up stuff and this dude is so dark. Who's this guy? It's a new guy. I'm gonna ruin your childhood part 10. Alright, there's this scene in Spongebob where he's blowing up these things and there's just- I know, I'm gonna pause Those it for are you guys, What does that mean like- That's a rubber. I'm telling y'all, Spongebob be clapping cheeks, bro. I'm telling you. you guys. Uh, not very child- children friendly, Spongebob. What's up with that? I'm going to ruin your childhood, part 73. You guys remember Rachel McGuire from Boy Meets World, right? Yeah. Well, this may surprise you, but okay. she is actually a straight up porn star now. Even What? What? This may surprise you, but she is actually a straight up porn star now. Even Jackie Chan did a porno movie once. What? Well, Jackie, you know what man. Come on, Jackie. You went from fighting people to fighting in the bed sheets, huh? Mr. Jackie Chan won't hit from karate chopping people in the neck to stick in his ball set. But they say it, uh, Jackie Chan always does his own stunts. And Rocky Balboa himself, Sylvester Stallone, also was in a porno movie back in 1970. I would have put it Pretty cool. I'm going to ruin your childhood. Oh, so in the beginning idiot. of the movie Shrek, there's three bears caged up. We have Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. Later on in the movie, we can only see Papa Bear and Baby Bear sitting by the fire. So where's Mama Bear, you may ask? She dead, bro. Well, later on in the movie, you can see that Lord Farquaad turned Mama Bear into a rug. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna ruin your childhood. I don't like this dude. Have you ever wondered why Plankton always wanted the Krabby Patty formula? Well, it was because he was abused by his parents when he grew up. And he was neglected by society, leaving him with no friend. He thought if he stole the Krabby Patty formula, he would finally be accepted into society. All he wanted was some friends. I'm sorry, guys. Shut up. Why does he always apologize for these weak little things? Shut up, little boy. I'm gonna ruin your childhood, part 25. So everyone remembers Max from The Wizards of Waverly Place, yeah. right? Wizards well, of Waverly Place used to hit. I'm not gonna lie to you, that was a good show. For Disney, he had uh, some struggles. In 2014, he had a huge meltdown backstage at the Teen Choice Awards. A bunch of witnesses claimed that he yelled at a worker because the worker didn't know who he was. And he got so bad, he even threw things at a staffer and stormed off. But it gets way worse. A couple years later, he was involved in a four-car hit and run. 
What? His car smashed into three parked cars, and the other people in the car with him threw a bottle of vodka out the car. So what did him and his amazing friends do after they hit three parked cars? They got out of their car and called an Uber and left. Yeah, that's right. They literally left their crash car just there. They just left it. Oh, There's something wrong with these Disney Channel people. Every single Disney star has just became cracked out. A stripper, prostitute, or super cracked out. I don't freaking know. Or weird. You know what I'm saying? Look at freaking Miley Cyrus. Look at Hannah, Hannah Montana, Lizzie McGuire. All them people is just bad. The only two people that did not go parabolic and do some stupid stuff is Zach and Cody from Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Those are homies for real, man. Well, to make matters worse, he also got arrested for drunk driving a little after of that. Of course too. he did. He faces up to six months in jail and a $1,000 fine if he's convicted. Pretty cool. Shut I'm up. gonna ruin your childhood. Oh. Peppa the pig was never healthy and always sick. One day, Peppa's parents decided it would be best if they euthanized her. That same night, Peppa fell asleep and was injected with a poison killing her. Peppa's what? final dream was about fairies, which is why she wanted to become a fairy. Peppa's parents couldn't live with the guilt of killing their own child. What if I- Where did that even come from? He's just saying random stuff right now. I told you in Snow White, Prince Charming isn't a prince at all, but he's actually a grim reaper. The first time she sees him next to the well, she runs. Maybe that's to symbolize death looming. Then, after she ate the poison apple, she had no choice but to embrace death and have the kiss of death. This makes the final scene where she says goodbye to her friends and rides off on a white horse make a lot more sense. Fun fact, white horse or pale horse in the Bible represents death. I'm- Folk is just saying so, this pisses me off. I'm gonna ruin your childhood memories. Part six. We got a new guy. A guy with a big old nose. Do you remember Pocahontas from the Disney movies? Yeah. Well, she was a real person. Okay. And she was only 11 years old. Since she was able to speak English, she was used as a translator between the Native Americans and the Englishmen. However, a man named Captain Samuel Argyll tricked her into coming onto a ship and kidnapped her as his prisoner. What? She was then forced to marry John Rolfe at the age of 12 and changed her name to Rebecca Rolfe. Her new husband then took her to London to show off his new Indian bride. Unfortunately, on the trip back to London, she got smallpox. Instead of heroically saving her tribe like in the movie, she just passed away from smallpox at the age of 20. Cap. Cap. I can't believe they get away with this. <laughs> Not them eating the booty hole. Not, not Finn and Jake no. in the booty hole. I'm gonna ruin your childhood part two. Why the stuff blocking my screen? Where's his chin? He doesn't have a chin. He's a freaking monster. I don't freaking know. Listen, honestly, this video, they was not exposing nobody. It was not ruining nobody's childhood. It was literally a bunch of people just saying random things. That's like me saying, yeah, you know that guy from Phineas and Ferb with the pointy nose? Well, in reality, he's a shark and he killed the entire cast in their only dream. Like, what the heck? They just making up stuff. But that's the end of the video. Let me know in the comments down below. Did y'all used to watch these shows? You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of SpongeBob references. Do y'all watch SpongeBob? I'm curious. I feel like people don't watch SpongeBob no more. I don't know. But if you want me to try to add else in specific, hit me on there on Instagram at Juve underscore for reactivity. I shout you out. Y'all know how it goes by now. You know what I'm saying? Jury.com. You can buy two and get the third for free. Or you can bundle up, say $750. I got chips on my finger. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna eat it. But that sounded weird. But anyways, that's the end of the video. I'ma see y'all out. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.